what's happening. Today, we are gonna make a trivet. That's just a funny word, trivet, 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 trivet. You say it enough, it doesn't actually sound like a real word anymore. But what is a trivet, you might be asking yourself. What are we gonna make it out of? Well, today, we're gonna make a trivet out of an old brake rotor from my, uh, my truck, all worn out thing. And that's what it looks like. I'll show you what I use it for, then we'll show you how to make it. Oh, well, there you go. Got my fire going, got my trivet. I'll take my old pot. There we go. That's a trivet. I'm going to be using brake rotor for a 4x4. And I'll tell you why once we get to the point of why. You could use any brake rotor. This is just going to be easier. Mother of. The only downside is it's heavy. Now I've drilled. Just to make sure my drill would uh, catch purchase in that. Now I wasn't thinking ahead, so now I've got to redo it because I wasn't thinking where I put that hole. I want to minimize how much material I got to drill through. So I want to drill in between these little ribs here. So I really don't feel like drilling through that rib. Now this is cast iron. You could do this with steel, but you're going to need cutting fluid and stuff like that. My understanding is that the graphite and the cast iron makes it so you don't need cooling or cutting fluid because the graphite nodules in the cast iron provide its own coolant and its own lubricant. Insert your own jokes here. I'm gonna knock some holes in this. Let's start with a small one. Just a pilot hole and go from there to the next size up. I'm not gonna bore you with the details. Maybe you saw that, maybe you didn't. Uh, snap my drill bit. I chuck it in anyway. Uh, took a step up, 5 sixteenths. So, let's, uh, let's see if this busted bit will make a hole. Goonies never say die. That busted drill bit kind of finished off a hole, so a lot of vibration. This drill bit's toast. It's gonna keep going anyway. Broken drill bit and all. Check that sucker out. It's a lot of vibration, but I managed to whack three three eighths inch holes through a cast iron brake rotor. Would not have been able to do that had this been steel, I don't think. No lube needed. Everything was fine. I tried a little silicone lube, which might have made my bit bit bit, 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 bit break. Might have made my bit break. But now I gotta try to tap it. I think I got the right tools for that. Let's keep going. Holes are drilled. Next step, take the death wheel tour. And this is why the hub from an old 4x4 is what I picked. Because it sticks out there and I can cut off right there. As opposed to trying to dig down inside a standard brake rotor. I can just zizz that right off, I hope. Ow, stepped on my broken drill bit. Break out the death wheel. Gotta break out the uh, PPE, polycarbonate. Death wheel's the only tool in the shop I will not remove the guard on and use. These things freak me right out. Let's get to cutting. Well, that was ugly. Ugly, ugly. Uh, this is uh, 
quite hot still. Uh, it's not as pretty as it could be, not as pretty as I was hoping it would be. Wore through, uh, I gave up on the death wheel because my blade was about wore out. Blew through three sawzall blades getting through this thing and finally resorted to the last couple inches of blasting through it with the death wheel. But now I'm through, now I just gotta put it together. Oh, by the way, ah, it's what's left of the metal hub. Might hold on to that. Maybe I'll figure out something else I can do with that. Don't know. It's still really hot. I stand it up like that, lock it in like that. See if I can do this one-handed. That's a, uh, that's how you make a trivet from an old brake rotor from a 4x4. So now let's go put it to use. So what do you use a trivet for? Well, this is what you use a trivet for. Put your fire underneath, pot goes on top, food goes in the pot, gets hot, you eat it. That's a trivet. That's how you make a trivet out of an old brake rotor. Jury's still out whether it's going to work or not. I don't know. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.